So I've always considered myself a connoisseur of fresh produce, from growing it myself and picking it and just enjoying a flavor that no supermarket can really provide. I've gotten distracted while hiking by wild berry bushes for hours on end, and the house that I grew up in had six fruit trees at it, so I basically had an endless supply of fresh fruit in my backyard. And since moving to Jacksonville, I've only had one orange tree. And that's kind of left me with an unquenchable thirst for flavors that no supermarket can really provide. And then I stumbled upon the Falling Fruit Project, which is an organization whose goal is to bring the overlooked culinary bounty of our streets to light, and aims to fight world hunger through information. Their website, fallingfruit.org, is the Google Maps of free food. Thousands of volunteers and hundreds of universities have compiled information in their database to contribute to the map, which con consists of nearly a million locations for public food sources, not only including trees and bushes, but also restaurants and churches that provide food to the need. Just to give you all an idea of how much food is available in a typical city, I'd like to pass around a handout of a map of St. Augustine. And every red dot on the map represents a food source that's either a tree <coughs> or a bush or a restaurant that might give away free food in the back to those who need it. And it's a growing project, so there's certainly many more locations on that map that will be added. Every day, millions of families go to sleep hungry with plentiful food sources all around them. And I can envision a future where fresh food is a right rather than a privilege. I can envision a future where every lawn and every park is overflowing with quality produce. But most of all, I can envision a future where the people of the world can rest easy, knowing exactly where their next meal will come from. And the Fallen Fruit Project is the first step. Thank you.